Right, here we are. Folks. Apologies, make your apologies. It's your I am very sorry. <laughs> Look at Terry. <laughs> so, I injured myself this week. Getting off the couch. <laughs> I'm in pain, man. I'm in pain, people. So sorry. This is why this episode is uh, delayed. It's my fault. All my bad. Yeah, I mean, and it is. Um, and when you, like you say, you pulled your back, didn't you? And when you tweak a muscle in your back. It's crazy. You, so you, no no lie. Like paralyzed. Oh, Jesus. No lie. So Tuesday, I was just laying on the couch, just doing something, and uh, um, got up to go get ready for karate, actually. So as I... Got off the couch. I felt this little, oh, this little tweak there, and I was like, "Ah, oh, it's whatever. It's nothing." Um, went, and got ready, went to karate. Great class. A lot of focus on kicking and stuff, which might have inadvertently uh, hurt it. Anyway, mm -hmm. so I leave, get in the car, driving home, and as I'm driving home, it just starts seizing it up, and I it was right where that tweak was earlier that on. Lower back. Lower like back in lower spine. Only on the side. There's a lower back yeah. and side. So it's anyway. So to your point, yeah. oh my god, I'm like frozen. I can't do anything. I am it's, all it's locked hard. up and it's horrible. I've, I I had it when I was I was actually teaching on a camp in Germany, and we did like the first two days. I taught my session and stuff, and then the last day. I like I slept I slept awkward in the night and I couldn't get out of the bed in the morning and the yeah. other Shians were like uh, are you alright and I'm like I can't fucking move I can't sit up and I was just fucked I was fucked for the next two days I could hardly move and then it just righted itself and I was fine well I was hoping this one would be uh, right by now but no such luck you're obviously not a natural athlete like me yeah, I can tell. <laughs> right, so what are we on? Episode, is it 16? No, we're or past 15. that, aren't we? We're 17, aren't we? Oh my God, this is terrible. It's are already we? started. We're, we don't even know what episode we are. That's how big we are now. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the double digits. We and that's are. And we lost it. Episode 17. Se isn't that what I said? No, you, didn't you say 16? Sorry, maybe I... Uh, yeah. Well, remember. on that note, um, so I've been taking muscle relaxers and stuff, and but tonight yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> tonight I'm taking an Irish <laughs> muscle relaxer. Yeah, so this so, this ought to be a great just episode. Gonna be, just gonna be talking bollocks. <laughs> I'm still trying okay, to figure so out I, my setup here too. I don't. I don't yeah, you kind of got this. You, you're like this. Yeah, I don't like. It's not I, visually. I don't care. Face. It's a, it's, they say it you're supposed cool. to talk right into it, like Q 104, but it's, uh, it's, um, in my headphones, it's super loud. I'm just trying to figure it out, but yeah, it looks all right. I'm learning as I go, people learning as I go. A couple of announcements then quick announcement. Now, oh, you may you're, not, Terry's you may coming out of the not... closet. <laughs> Seven, ages ago. I've been in and out. It doesn't matter. I'm a Ronin. Do you know what I mean? That's right. Roman. I go wherever I want. What's the announcement? Well, uh, you may not know this, but I'm writing a book. <laughs> I don't go know. on. <laughs> really? <laughs> on that I note, I have an announcement as well. I don't, you know, write a book, you? Mm, sort of. Oh. Well, it, the book, The Forgotten Kyokushin, is a. Uh, it's a work of everything in it. So it's going to be a lengthy book. Mm -hmm. But there's stuff that people people are always asking, when's the book coming out? When's the book coming out? And I'm like, I haven't even finished writing it. Right. It's, still, it's still a work in progress. Yeah. So what I've decided to do is with the Real Karate for Real Fights, I'm going to release a series of books, smaller ones, just Jesus. say 90-page, 100-page books that will be instructional books rather than philosophical and everything sort of mixed into it. What do you mean so instructional? Be, instructional in what context? Like, It'll be instructional books. So we will be talking about the techniques. So there's going to be about about five books in the series, say. Yeah, but what do you mean? Like, uh, uh, make like, sure so, your fist is at shoulder well, length. And... you. <laughs> you got to give if people a teaser. Up, if you shut up for a second, I'm trying to tell you. 
<laughs> my Irish uh, muscle relaxer. <laughs> no, but it's going to be a series of books. Only about 90 pages. Oh, God. <laughs> Three burger people. I, I forgot. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> you know, spoil a mood. Spoil a mood. You have. <laughs> no, this is great. Your book. It's about a series. About five books. Yeah, but so techniques. About but I was being serious. I'm trying to I, dig down. I, I'm telling you. So there's going to be a book on punching, right? So the the whole premise of the series is. I just heard that. That was Siri. Was Whoa. Siri? Was it? Yeah. They're listening. That was All that was the creepy. Time they're listening. They're listening. Big shout out, anyway, Joe Biden. Book. Big shout. We missed him. Big shout out. Fucking shut up! I'm talking about the book. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens. Of about four or five books. Okay. Mm. The first book is going to be on punching. So the the whole premise is real karate for real fights. Mm. So the first book is going to be on real punching for real fights not tournament punching, and it's just going to go through the type of punches you're going to use outside, different parts of the fist, what you're going to connect with, and working punching for real fights. Then there'll be one on kicking, one on like headbutting, elbowing, one on close range throwing, so real throwing for real fights, the sort of throws you're going to utilize when you get into a clinch outside, mm -hmm. not tournament stuff. This no, I know what you mean. It's all going to be for, you know, real fights. And, and then it'll be like real idea. grappling for real fights. Yeah. So it'll be all, like a, all joking a aside, that's a really good idea. Well, it just puts but things down. Why don't you do a what? video series? I do. It's called Backstreet Karate. <laughs> Sorry. It's only, no. you know, <laughs> only been out for a while. You know, no, I mean, subscribers. <laughs> I mean, like an actual, like you were just saying, like a series. Like, because so these... that that require we will we will at the moment but that requires a lot more time and effort my book oh I you're too lazy when i got yeah basically <laughs> basically yeah we were talking about some bullshit excuses i got too much going on really That's okay. that requires a lot more time and it requires people something being shot with a film this i can write right. it as i want it and then we'll do all the pictures in one day on a photo shoot okay then all the pictures are done cool. for it. So I think that the book is, and you can't, you know, yeah, the video you've got, but a video is different. You watch a video with a, a book, you've got it in your hands. You can open it, you can read it. You've got it as a point of source. You can take a training with you, do something and think, oh, what was that? Check that page. Oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. I like so, it. Yeah, we, so we're going to do that little series of books. That'll be coming out now. Uh, I'm starting it straight away. So probably in the next few months, Certainly, by the end of this year, they should the, the first one, real punching for real karate, should be out. It, it actually reminds me. Last night, all joking aside, oh, so what? Huh? What? Huh? I didn't catch what you said. Go on. Uh, last what? night, I I couldn't sleep. Uh, didn't say anything. Forget how, because this back thing. So I'm like scrolling through crap. Um, but I did. Came, I came across something kind of cool. Somebody had. Um, Oh, shoot, man. I wish I could remember which page it was on that I saw so I can give a shout out. But somebody was talking about um, how we practice. So we go through our keyhone and we talk about our Jodan strikes, right? But then when it comes to sparring, we don't use them. And we don't use them in anything else oh, other that, than... That, you were to John, John Taylor. Was it John Taylor? Actually, John Taylor. There you go. Yeah, he wrote that post originally saying okay. about all the, all the dojos, Kyokuchin dojos he's been to in the world, none of them are doing face punching. Yeah. And I'm like, so, that's because you haven't been to Ronin Dojo. <laughs> so, <laughs> so not all dojos. He walk I mean, in, I punch him straight in the face. There we are. <laughs> that's right. And small farm animal, animals. <laughs> not medium size. You got to check medium the earlier episode animal. for that one. <laughs> No, but but it's a good point though. Get so at our story. dojo, when the dojo was running full time, we had uh, our Kyokushin classes, but we also incorporate kickboxing, jujitsu as well. So we got students got a taste of that if they wanted to. Um, but for the most part, in Kyokushin classes, uh, it's it is interesting that we we do practice in Kihon and and kata. Uh, Jodan strikes, but we then we don't. <laughs> but I think 
a vital thing of that is, right, you're saying in, in Kyokushin dojos, right? Mm. Now, if you're not doing face punching, clinching, grappling, throwing, and all of these parts of Kyokushin that mm. are in source-sized books, mm -hmm. that are in the katas, if you're not that, doing that, mm -hmm. then you're, you're not doing Kyokushin here. You're, what you're okay, doing, you just you, insulted what, what people are doing. So many people. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I've been preaching. I've been preaching this for the last ten years. I've been preaching it. If, if you're not clinching and grabbing and throwing and doing these things, you are doing knockdown. You are a knockdown dojo, not mm -hmm. a kyokushin dojo. You have to do these things. It's the first punch you learn. Terry Burkett. Jordan. People. Terry Burkett. I've been listen. I've been preaching <laughs> this for for like a decade almost. This is my thing, you know, but people say, oh, yeah, but Kyokushin doesn't punch to the face. Get fucked. It, that's the, one of the first things you learn. Yeah, I mean, I know where you're going. And Go I on, am, you can speak now. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just joking around, but but it, it is true. It's, it's a weird, it's become yeah. this weird, sensitive topic. Um, I it mean, is. I, we, I took, had, remember I did that article on face punching in, in Kyokushin. And yeah. they, there's no, it's unquestionable. They did do it until the tournaments rolled around. Yeah, of course we did. Yeah. But we, we know, we know when it changed. It changed yeah, in world tournament, the late seventies, where, where, when the, when the tournaments came in. Yeah. Or, or actually all like, Japan. We're only yeah. training for tournaments. Yeah. Yeah. We're only training for tournaments. That's mm -hmm. it. And now, now the, the, the vast majority of Kyokushin dojos are knockdown dojos. It, it makes so when, me... when whenever I'm on a camp or anywhere, and they say "Do you come a day?" I'm with sparring, and I grab them and pull them in and throw them. They're like, "Oh, what are you doing?" <laughs> well, you said "Do you come a day?" Free sparring. <laughs> so you didn't say knockdown sparring. Oh, you're frozen up. You said "Do you?" Terry, you're... no joking, you're froze up. Can you still hear me? Uh oh, we lost Terry, folks. I am stop talking. <laughs> I put it on pause. Hey, I just hey, hit it on. Uh, so we had a little interruption there, folks. Uh, Terry, you know, he lives in a poor country and they don't have a lot of nothing. industry Listen, there. So they're we internet, invented it's not that strong. Wi Fi. You, in, you invented Wi Fi. <laughs> what? No, we just cut out completely. You just cut off and disappeared. I'm fine. I just checked my signal strength is perfect. Uh, I checked mine. It's a, I got it's a UK, UK problem. Or I am Wales. Noticing, I, I am noticing we've got a bit of a delay that we never normally have. Yeah, it's strange. I don't know what's going on. You know what? I bet you I know why. Friday night. It's busy. Yeah, we never we never shoot on a Friday night. Nope. That's, that's it. Scott's mm -hmm. fault again, ladies Jesus and gentlemen. <laughs> 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 what was we what was we talking about i don't know elephants it was you a fucking question um we were talking about we're, talk, we're talking about training face punching and, and you know, yeah this, i don't know how we bridged off in here because i had this, a whole different area i wanted to discuss around this yeah, but, yeah uh, this is a frog in a dead horse we've gone on about this i've gone on about it for the best part of a decade yeah we've gone Shit, on all man, the time your video is really bad you're breaking up so bad Oh, yours keeps buffering as well and pausing. Same I don't thing. know what's going on here. I'm going to try something here. Oh, shit. Hopefully this doesn't kill the recording, but that's okay if it does. I'll stitch it all together because I push the buttons. <laughs> the buttons <laughs> man is on it. Oh. Recording's gone. All right, well, I'm having a fucking biscuit then. <laughs> this is the most <laughs> epic... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> are we go are we recording now we're re i think we're recording yeah yeah we're recording, <laughs> we're recording. worst episode ever worst ep i'm sorry people i apologize it's all my fault. We, uh, just we'll fucking edit all this i'm not right editing now. any of this out this is gold <laughs> it's, it's we'll a edit this damn show. good show we had the, we had the um we had the cut we were talking about face punch we've done it to death. i we think you we death. were talking about how you're now ostracized for the entire kyokushin community because you just said no one well 98 percent of people don't do kyokushin oh, yeah. 
99 percent 99 you give them another one percent 99 percent of kyokushin dojos do knock down karate not kyokushin karate they don't do any face punches they don't do any clinching they don't even use hikate they don't throw they don't grapple it's gone but i do like have you know have you noticed (laughs) have you noticed this reassurgence of like old Xi'ans that have all of a sudden popped up out of the woodwork because they've joined some new organization and are like, yes, we've always done grappling. I've always <laughs> taught it and we've always done face punching. I've taught it all the time. And now we're with such and such group that's following the true path, step into the light. And it's like, you're not fucking fooling anyone. Yeah. I know these people. You've never yeah. taught this stuff before. It's it's become trendy. So it's like yeah, you know. So we 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 can, it is we can talk that to death, right? We can talk it to death. But ah, uh, whatever. Other shows that we've. I'm got. actually Wanted so. You... I was going to say I got, got a got, I got a couple guests lined. I'm way behind on stuff because of work and my back and all kinds of stuff. But anyway, I got a couple of guests lined up for the Marshall Way long form, and yeah. they're not Kilkshin. Um, so a couple people, I'll I'll leave it as a surprise, but. Uh, I've been watching their stuff, following them a long time, but they do other styles, Shotokan specifically. Um, oh, just, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, if it's the people, if it's the people that I know you're talking about, they're sound guys, solid guys. I don't know if it is or not, but if it is, they are. I think it and, is. I and think it is. it's something I think is so, what, this is why I want to talk to them because I think it's so important. And I think it's become the missing link as you always uh, talk about in Kyokushin now. And if we brought it back into the fold, it would be such a more complete uh, martial art. Um, the thing is, we are a bastardization. Okay, mm. you've got the shorter calm teachings and you've got Gojiru teachings that Correct. are quite different. Correct. Very, different, very different. Right? <laughs> very different. And we, we are like the child of that. So we've got a bit of both. Yeah, I was going to do something now, but it might get us knocked off YouTube, so I won't do it. Uh, <laughs> don't do your <laughs> little baby elephant trick. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right, so... You wanted to talk about, we had a couple of subjects we were going to talk about. And you said, so you asked a question to me and I thought it was a taking the piss question. Oh, I I know. This is hilarious. I thought it was a joke, (laughs) but it was a serious question. I was dead serious. What was your question? (laughs) I don't remember the specifics of it, but I I asked him, I asked Terry if he wanted to talk about, (laughs) I can't even say what a straight face. I wanted to talk about um, the importance of a good dogi and uh, right. training and how it affects you. So well, my sure. thing was, as everyone, most, I would assume, anyone in Kyokushin knows, um, Asami stopped uh, producing uh, Kyokushin geese because of whatever, politics, whatever. I won't go into it. But because of politics, they stopped doing it. And so then when they did that, it pulled the plug on my supply. So I started looking for uh, geese and dogies in, in other areas. And I've never been satisfied. So I get geese from other places. And, and, and I'm telling you, I, I felt like it affects my trade. Apparently, Terry can uh, train in his uh, pajamas and he's good to go. But... Anyway, so I went back Listen, to... I I, could hold on, a, just let me finish. I, I went back to Asami. Cloth on. I could put a Hessian bag on me and still train exactly the same way. <laughs> I went back to Asami. I ordered myself an Asami, some Asami geese and, and had the kanji put on myself. And I'm telling you, it affects me. It, it, as a matter that, of fact, when I did my Shodan test, I that was in a brand new Isami K K five hundred Masoyama Gi, and I felt like a million bucks. I felt like amazing. It, it, yeah, there's there's no there's no doubt that having a nice new gi on makes not you not just feel a good new gi, but, but a Isami authentic gi on. Yeah. It makes no it makes no fucking difference uh-huh. because there's people in the world that have never even believe it or not 
And when I grew up, we didn't have fucking Nizami keys. You had whatever, whatever you could get your hands on at the time. That's what we trained. Well, for. I know you live in a third world, but I don't. <laughs> Mix and match, yeah, but it doesn't affect what you, where you weigh. It doesn't affect your karate. You should be able to train in a fucking leotard. That's not the point, it's though. Exactly <laughs> the same thing. <laughs> It's not the point. So, That's the, the point. Me, it, I, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, right? And his army gi was a beautiful gi. And there, there's been lots of other gis that are not. Now, I, I know you... Now. I, you did, I developed my own gi. You did. And all joking aside, I know Terry's gi is the shit. I, I, but, but you went the extra mile and made sure that it was done correctly. A lot yeah, of other I, places I, I, don't. I work... I, I work with my I work with my uh, manufacturer in the UK, and we got it done, and it's yeah. made in Pakistan. And I'm pretty sure it's the same factory that make Izami's geese. So Izami <laughs> geese is that or Izami geese are made in Pakistan? They send the parts. No, the, Japan, okay. And they where... so, that, shut up and listen, because I fake news, know. fake news. <laughs> they are not made are, in Pakistan. Like the raw cotton. And, and the, the, the raw cotton, the geese, the geese themselves, right, are all cut in Pakistan. No, they send all that's, the bits, not, that's they not send, correct. Well, no, they send oh my god, I got to cut all this out of this episode. They send all the bits to Japan and they put it all together and they put the Azami badge on it. Not correct. I They're... spoke to Mister Azami. He fucking told me. Mister. <laughs> okay, I have a. I know all BS aside. I do have a direct relationship with Azami now, and I know that. They do source their cotton, absolutely, but it comes as raw sheets, and they cut everything themselves. Yes, yeah, so it's the prep. same material. So they prep, the but the, the thing is, they have years of experience how to cut and prep this stuff. So I'm not taking yeah. anything away from you. You you have a great gi, you do, um, but a lot of places don't, and you know you buy them. Yeah. And they come, Some and you terrible. go through through one wash, and, and they fit a child. And, and this is the thing with the Ronin gi, right? So the Ronin gi, we allow for the shrinkage. So they say that, you know, say, say Terry's size about, by... Terry's all about the shrinkage. All about shrinkage. Shrinkage is very important. <laughs> if you buy a gi, say, say you're a size five. When you have the size five, because Ronin gis are a natural, unbleached cotton. I prefer that. I like yeah, that me too. Look. And it's softer. So when you first have it, you're like, this is like three sizes too big. This is not fit. So what, what I say to people is, when you go your, your new gi, soak it in a bath of cold water overnight, completely submerged it in the water in the morning, and that'll take out some of the natural cotton color on it. Put it on a 60-degree wash, then put it in mm -hmm. a tumble dryer. That takes no more shrinkage after that. And you mm -hmm. will lose, you will literally lose about six inches off, off your doggy pants and sleeve and everything. And, that's and the then way, it fits you fine. And that's the way it should be. So when I get a gi from Asami, I, I've posted pictures of myself, like where I'm lifting, they're up to my armpits. And I'm like, but one wash and whoosh, they go right to my side. It's gone in. They've yeah, got all it the shrinkage is taken out. Uh, yeah, and that's why I've run into it other places. But anyway, the the, the point of the thing is, it, it does matter. Like jujitsu is big on this. Bra Brazilian jujitsu, there's guys yeah. with clo guys gals with closets of like uh, dogies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and brands and stuff. It's uh, it's become a big thing. It's become a big thing. It has it has become a big thing. It, it, it's like you know, uh, I'm more in. I, I'm I'm. Don't get me wrong. I've got nice skis, and, and I developed a gi. I've got that sorted, the Ronin gi. But uh, with my my partner in uh, in the UK. But you know, I'm more of a designer clothes guy. So I like. But I see, I see what you're saying. You can go and buy a shitty shirt from Walmart. Yeah. For six quid, or yeah. you can go and buy a hundred and fifty quid Ralph Lauren shirt. And you're gonna. F uh, it affects you. It, it is the difference is immense. Yes, but that was it does point. make you feel. But what I do in that shirt doesn't fucking affect my shirt oh, I'm wearing. Of course, was she on? Exactly. <laughs> you remember your place, Scott. You remember your place. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, right. <laughs> what I what, what I a ridiculous talk, episode what I, this is. What I wanted to talk about tonight is one of what? my. Oh, pet wasn't teams. that? <laughs> no, that was your fucking question. That's not mine. I wanted to talk to you about 
celebrated mediocrity. Oh. Yeah. Now, this is one of my Ideas pet peeves. Great. All right. <laughs> no, it, it is. It, it seems yes. today. It's anyone with Instagram. a phone. Yeah, anyone with a phone and social media can now become an influencer or whatever and put it they you see people putting out instructional videos and it's like you don't know what you're fucking doing dude terry i could tell you this this is this is this is so hilarious so i have my marshall way instagram page right and i really when i started it i wasn't a huge instagram whatever it was just shits and giggles i would put up stuff or uh, re- mostly reposting, mostly mm. reposting, and um, so I never really used it for promoting my blog or anything like that. But anyway, it gained traction, so I got a lot of followers there. So my Facebook has more. My Facebook has ridiculous followers; it has like well over a hundred thousand. Um, but on Instagram, oh yeah, you're like you're like hundred and hundred and forty thousand, something like that. One forty, one fifty. Yeah. It's crazy. One forty, one fifty thousand. Yeah. Um, but on Instagram. It, 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 whatever, it picked momentum. As it did, <laughs> the thing that drives me crazy the most every day, my Instagram inbox gets these, please repost this, please repost this. And it's usually garbage. And I, I and it's Crap, mediocre yeah. to your, to your point. point. I don't, I, I don't get it. Yeah. Like, I'm like, and don't do forget, you not this is see not, this? Do you not look at this your is own not, video? This is not coming from a place, this is not coming from a place of ego, right? This no, is me, saying, look, come on, man. This is not I'm saying, not at any level yeah, of anything. This is not saying I'm amazing, everyone else is crap. It's not no. that at all. But yeah. you can see, th- you can see what's good and what's not. Yeah, exactly. Some people have no business posting video instructional videos out of themselves because they're crap it's exactly and 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 as nasty as this sounds right like we talked before in our first ever episode right of the pecking order in the dojo if you don't respect the top fighters you're gonna get hurt okay exactly so yeah it, it, it is kind of a know your place no, you can't be doing videos and doing this and think because they're delusional. I don't Thing get is, it. It drives people start me crazy. Liking, they're How do they not likes, see it though? But people are like, oh well, you know, it's the effort that counts, so we we'll like and share. And then these no. people have likes, and they think that I'm really good because people are liking and sharing it's, what I do, it, and they no, keep putting more stuff out. I refuse and it's like, to do I, it. And I'm not hating. I'm not being nasty. I'm just saying. What the fuck are you doing? What, what you're putting in that is shit. I totally agree with you, and I refuse to promote mediocrity. I'm not going to do it. So, um, like I just posted, reposted this uh, some young guy doing these amazing yushirigaris, and it's, it's beautiful. But I got a dozen more <laughs> videos that people sent me that it's yeah. like, what are you, like it, it? For me, it's and it's not about. I'm worried about my channel and all this, this kind of stuff. I think it looks makes Kyokushin look bad or it makes it karate does. look I, bad. I, I think the people who are sharing the stuff are just as much to blame because yes. you're, 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 you're giving that, you're legitimizing that person and saying, yes, you're good. Carry on doing what you're doing. Instead yeah. of going, listen, that's a pile of shit. <laughs> you, need to, you need to go back to the beginning and start again. <laughs> I wish I can't do it though. Sometimes I've been so close oh, to responding can. to people when they inbox me and just being like, but I can't yeah, but you admit, you've got to be Mr. Nice Guy. You've got to be Mr. Nice Guy, the Marshall way, you know, that's why you've got 160,000 <laughs> likes. I'm a, you're a pile of fucking shit. Take your belt off and basically don't put a gi on again. <laughs> that's why I've got, you know, that's why I've got 6,000 likes. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I won't go that far. They're, it's not like no, but but some oh. some people need that. It infuriates me so much. We've said it before on the Tameshiwari uh, episode, right? Where you you'll have some guy, and it's normally out in India or Sri Lanka or something like that, and then they will look at someone doing something, someone doing an amazing break, and they'll go, "I'll do that." Get the cameras, get everyone here, and they haven't even practiced it, and they do it, and you're like, you can't even do it. And now you look an absolute fool, but you're still <laughs> posting the fucking video. But they don't. Okay, so all right, I'm gonna take um, the devil's advocate. 
So I think what's happening is a lot of these videos, at least the ones that are being sent to me, excuse me, are coming from places that people are struggling and they see something like Instagram or whatever as some... Yeah, they're struggling to fucking kick. <laughs> I'm the nice guy, people. <laughs> um, they're, they're seeing Instagram and things like that as an avenue out of their existence like so maybe they can get followers and maybe they can whatever so yeah. they're trying to like get out there and so and, i can't and, i can't and, i can't harp them for that but, no and don't get me wrong it, it kind of breaks my heart I, i'm not hating on people right yeah, uh, you like the, you see some people this uh, yeah uh, i'm not there's, there's a guy right there's a guy out in somalia that keeps posting videos. he's a taekwondo guy right and he keeps okay. posting his videos into kyokushin groups uh, and it's okay. like yes well there you go the shit yeah but and it's like the shit you're doing will not work from my professional background it will not work and you're going to break your own fucking neck by doing it <laughs> I'm so telling you right stop now. posting it and telling people this is the most dangerous technique in the world for you to do kill it, but kill yourself by doing it i'm telling you right now i i I'm pretty confident that person is doing it just to get themselves some followers to, they think they can. Yeah. And, and I see your point. That's what everyone is doing now. It's all about getting likes and shares and stuff. Yeah. But when you are doing it about something that I love and something that's very personal to yeah, me and some, something, something that I've worked my fucking bollocks off to be good at. Yeah, I agree. Not say, you know, I, there's a lot of people better than me, but I'm pretty good at karate. Excuse me. I'm pretty good at karate. That, that's my thing that I've clicked with in my life. I've done it for almost 30 years. That's my thing. It, I'll tell and, you this. And, it happens in everything. So my other thing that I grew up with was guitar. And if we were to compare apples and oranges, I'd be at your level for sure in guitar. Uh, I mean, I taught for a couple of years at conservatory. I played professionally. When you say you taught in conservatory, because mm. here conservatory is a glass part on the side of your house. <laughs> so what is it? What? So you just basically taught people in conservatories. Conservatory is music. It? It's, uh, oh. it's a, a school. <laughs> so I taught music theory, applied theory, and things like that. Anyway, uh, uh, to guitar. Uh, but the point is that, so I see, um, so I don't follow just martial arts. I follow music a lot and I'll see people doing the exact same thing, uh, mm. um, posting things in music. And it's like, Jesus, you should, oh my God, did you not listen to yourself back? Did you not? And I can, okay. this, I can do it with an objective ear. I, I have no problem. I know my stuff. So, mm -hmm. you know, whereas with karate, I'm, what am I? I'm a show Dan. I don't know, whatever I can't, but. I can't really yeah, well, you're just coming, you know, you're just I'm getting into it. Pretty big. soon, give it a couple of years, you'll be slagging people off the same as me. <laughs> <laughs> and don't listen, and don't, I'm not slagging people off, right? You know, if you're, if you're, if you're a blue belly about the stuff uh, and you're putting a video up saying, this hey, is me doing, yeah, this is that's me doing awesome. such and such, give me your critique. Let me that, know where I'm going wrong. That's 100%. different. 100%. I that's I'm actually really glad you say that because I've reposted people's stuff that are like yeah, coming up and doing stuff and I'm like and, that's and awesome. Then, Look at that effort. Look what they've done. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, that's different. But it's when someone puts a video up, right, of them yeah, going and they're like, Look this at is me. how you do this is how you do Pinan San and Yura. and it's like you can't even fucking do Pinan San and Yura. So why are you showing other people? <laughs> yeah, it's it's And you oh, you talk, you were talking media. about geese earlier, right? You're talking about geese as well. And so people do it, and I see lots of people doing it. And if they want to do it, that's their choice, right? But personally, for me, I'm not a fan of it. So colored belts, you see them put in the embroidery on the colored belts. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and why? Why? Oh why? God, Terry, why? What, why? Why do you care? Why? Why do you care? Why? Why is it on there? Because they, no, I know in why. Kyokushin, no one had embroidery on their belts. They didn't have their belts embroidered. Only the black of course belt. They the coveted, didn't. because you know what no, it cost didn't. back then. The coveted Yudansha, the Shodan belt, had all the kanjis on it oh, and the stripes. So why, Terry, why, Terry, why a few grades? 
they do in Q grades now in Japan. They do it. Why? Because it's another look. Why are belts there to begin with? It, they're an incentive Shh. that they it's, were there it's from. Just there is an indication of your grade. They were there for incentive. Yeah. Yeah. Judo did it. Judo stole it from swimming. Swimming did the yeah. same thing during the Olympics. They did it. It was just an incentive. Right? Right. So so now things have just um, progressed. We've gone to another, I don't know what to call it. Uh, it's Things have evolved. So yeah. now it's a new thing to put on there, and it's an incentive. So when, if but to me, yeah, so that's hold it. On, hold on. If you're a little kid, if you're a kid, and you know that you're getting your green belt or something, and with that green belt comes some like gold uh, kanji of kyokushin down there. It just adds a little bit to it. No, so it's a little I never had it. I never had it. All my you're belts old. were green. They never had it back then. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have it. No, I had a plain belt. You had plain belts, and it was fine. Do you know what? Then it made that black belt even more special because that belt's got all the gold writing on it, oh, and it no, made I, that is what I'm going for. Crush the old man. I, no, no, no. And again, when I was a kid, I had to go to school in two meters of snow. Backwards. We could even have belts. <laughs> and, I'm, and, I'm, and it looks cool. I'm, I'm just saying, for me personally, it almost seems again, like you said, as an added incentive of, yeah, get your green belt, but get your green belt with all the, with the gold on it. Of course it is. That's why. All it's, it a is. Green, that's it's a green belt. It's a anyway. Yeah, but it's that, a Q grade. But that's all belts are anyway. You look at another, if you look at other traditional arts, like, okay, even an art that I I'm not even a huge fan of, Aikido, there's two belts, but they still have 10 Q grades between. Yeah. They don't have loads of candy or writing on it. They have nothing. You have a white belt and you have a black yeah. belt and nothing. There's zero. So that's the opposite end of the Oh, there it is. They do have Q grades. That's my point. They have Q grades, but they don't have a physical representation of it. They don't have They do? Yes, they belts. do. No, they don't yes, have they color do. belts. Yes, they do. I used to fucking do Aikido. Well, I don't know what weird UK brand of Aikido <laughs> you did. but Shingi Thai Aikido had there colored belt. There you go. Yeah. There you go. So, um, brown belt was before black belt. Yeah. No, so I mean, yeah, most maybe not. Systems... Maybe not in Japan, but again... That's my point. So in certain places, I'm just looking at the opposite in the spectrum. So there's places where you have no, and, and even in Okinawa, that was the way it was too. You had two belts. You had white and black. Yeah. You had Q gradings you between. Didn't, you, didn't have, you didn't have all different colors. It was right. just that. So this whole thing we know was put into place as an incentive. It was. It was just, so this is another addition to it. Yeah, it is. And the Q belt, as we said, the Q belts are incentives, right? Going yeah. up different colors and stuff. Yeah, but it was, you know. Shiny objects. It is. But we were saying, like, for for decades, Q grades didn't have your, your name and Kyokushi, the kanjis on the belts. It didn't mm -hmm. have it. Mm -hmm. There was no need for it to be on the Q grade belts. Mm -hmm. You had a different color belt when you had your different color. That mm -hmm. was your thing. You had a different color belt now. You don't need to have kanjis and stuff on it. Mm -hmm. To me, it kind of feels like it's just, again, participation stuff. And, oh, well, you know, you get all the gold. and Same as an officer and stuff. Oh, when you're an officer, then you have the epaulets and the stripes and stuff. You've worked towards it and achieved something. All right. So that's a different perspective. I see where you're going with that. Yeah. I, 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 I can I, respect I, that. Like the and achievement that's, that's side what of I'm, it. It's like yeah, everyone's that's what a winner. I'm saying it. Yeah, and it's like, oh, oh, you got your blue belt, and you've got all the gold kanjis in a bar. It's like, no, it's a fucking blue belt. It's your first grade, <laughs> sort of thing. It's your first, second grade. Do, you know, don't make something out of it that it's not. Go for your sh the showdown is where you get, you know, the same as being an officer. Now you get to wear your stripes. You get to have your epaulets. As a squadder, you don't have an epaulet with a crown on it. Mm. Well, I should be. Why can't I? Everyone should be able to wear a crown. No, you haven't fucking worked up towards it. I get that. So I, I understand from that perspective. I, I do. Yeah, that, that's I just do. my, and I, and I'm as I much as I'm. I also think you're jealous, but that's. I never had any guys <laughs> on my belt. <laughs> and we it's never. It's a weird society, so when I came up, man. It's a weird society. We, you don't like today now on Q grades, you'll have the bar on there. Oh my God. If you like. Poor guys. It's kicking off. Somebody came through the door. Like if you had sixth Q, then if you had fifth Q, you'd have a little bar on your belt. Well, we never had that. 
you know, in the 90s, and to, there was no bars on belts for Q grades. You just had the same belt. Yeah. You had another certificate for the next grade. You just had the same belt. Yeah, we put the bar on. We put the color bar on uh, between. Lots of people, lots of people, you know, and I've even seen, um, I'm sure Jeb does it in his dojo. They changed the belt to the with the stripe going all the way yeah, through it. Right down through it. That was from Taekwondo, I think, did that. Yeah. Yeah, and I've, I mean, I don't, don't get me wrong, you know, Kyokushin's gone on now years, you know, Sosai's been dead 25, 26 years. Mm -hmm. People are evolving and doing their own things. And under my own ethos of, you know, roaming life, mm -hmm. being free. Yeah, you know, if you want to do it, you want to do it. Mm -hmm. But there's still that little bit of the, you know, because I, I was lucky enough to come into Kyokushin just at the end of the golden years in in the 90s early 90s so source i was still alive and it was still it was still a special special thing it wasn't just everyone could fucking do whatever they want True. it was like a, you know this this is what we were i'm a blue belt my yellow belt is next then the green belt and when you're brown belt it's like i get in that black belt with all the gold on it that's yeah. what i'm working for and it made it more special now it's like well, you get your blue belt with all the gold on it. Well, yeah. So what? I, I the black what belt. Saying. The black belt is just a fucking mm. dirty blue belt, then, isn't it? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, I apologize, <laughs> folks. My somebody came to my door, and my dogs are freaking out. Um, but no, I, I I do see your point, and as you're saying this, it reminds me of um, I was living two houses ago in this great neighborhood. But anyway, my next door neighbors who uh, I adored. <laughs> Um, they were, um, they had two kids. Actually, it was two families. <clears throat> One family had two kids. The other across the street had three. And they all played together in, um, in a local, um, what do you guys call football, but soccer uh, club. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I remember one year that they changed everything up and there was no more winners. <laughs> See, that's crazy. I, I, society so can't function bizarre. like that. I remember because I was really close to these these folks, and because especially the kids loved my big old dog, and they would love coming over and seeing her and stuff. And uh, so that I would see them come up for practice because they're wearing their shins and all this kind of stuff. And I'd be like, "Hey, how'd it go? Did you win? Whatever." <laughs> they couldn't answer. No, so, so what what happens in sports then? You know, as we know, to society today, we are in this participation trophy era, or whatever you want to call it, um, where you know, being a champion, being the best, the fastest, the strongest, is you know almost frowned upon. It's yeah, almost weird, right? looked at like it's like no, you you shouldn't be lifting the most weight. Everyone should be able to lift equal weight. Well, uh, it's like, well, okay. <laughs> what what does is, 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 you know? Same as tribes used to have it as well. They'd be like, right, we've got this tall pole. If you can climb to the top of the pole, right, mm -hmm. you've become a you've become a warrior in this tribe. Not everyone can do it. It's a hard mm -hmm. thing to do. And if you can do it, you become this warrior. So people yeah. will try. They get halfway up, and they'd be like, yep, yeah, you didn't do it though. Good effort, but you didn't do it. So you're yeah. not one of us. Try again. And it's like, okay, someone doesn't even try it. They're like, yeah, you're not one of us. It's fine. So, so people now change and someone gets halfway up and they go, yeah, but he got halfway up. So he should be allowed in. No, he didn't fucking do it. Right. Well, everyone should be allowed in. Let's chop the fucking pole down in the beginning. So no one has to climb the pole and everyone is equal. That's, well, that's, that's like the, that's where it's going. The mentality today. Well, that's where it's going. I mean, this is now going to, I don't want to go down a political road, but that that is where the nature. The weird thing for me, I find, is that I would see this. So I saw this stuff happening here in Canada. But now you see it everywhere. everywhere. And I find that really, I got to be honest, I find that really bizarre. It's 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 almost not. It's, it's so social media has created it because before we yes, exactly you would have the winners right let's say, let's say alpha males and alpha females and you'd have winners and the, and the people who were there so that's a that's a small amount of people at the top yeah. the amount of people at the bottom who can't do these things are vast millions and millions of course. now the they've all got social media so now they're all flocking they all have together. a voice 
Now they're all flocking together going, fuck those guys. Fuck that woman for winning. You know, we're all... That's do away with sports. Get away, get rid of sports. This shouldn't be this. You shouldn't be having races. You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be doing that. And it's because you're victimizing people and making people feel left out. And if you're taking all the competition out of life, and if you take competition out of life, people have nothing to work to. They have nothing to strive for. Oh, my God. I can't find it on here. You're reminding me. I just... <laughs> I just saw yesterday, there's some guy in the U.S., a jiu-jitsu guy, who has a match coming up. He's a hundred and, I'm like, like 170 pounds, whatever, right? And he challenged this um, transitioned person. Give what are you saying now? I am. Yeah. He challenged a uh, transition person to a match who is over 200 pounds. But on paper, he's fighting a female. He's Bronny. actually fighting a male. <laughs> Be careful. No, he's not. He's fighting a female. Biologically, he's fighting a male. Duh. <laughs> No, <laughs> listen, why are you even fucking bringing this up? Let's not even get into this conversation. Anyway, no, it is reminding me. It, it reminded me because of the, the whole thing around competition and whatever. So, yeah, I so I might have this a bit wrong, but he basically challenges this person. And he says 170 pounds against whatever. And he says if he loses, he's retiring. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. <laughs> and it what just, happened? Huh? I don't know. It's not. It hasn't happened yet. Oh, so I'm looking forward to it. I thought uh, you were like, yeah, that the that the, the, the lady, the transition, smashed his skull open on the floor, and <laughs> it like, oh. it's, might happen. It might happen. Well, this happened, didn't oh it? This God. happened. There was an MMA fighter. It was yeah, an MMA um, fighter who 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 was born a man, cracked a skull, transition, transition okay, to a lady, fought another Deep lady, waters, danger, cracked her skull danger. open. But anyway, Danger. that's a different thing. That's a different thing. What I was going to say is, President I fought Biden. in the World Tournament, right? I fought in the World Tournament. So where's my fucking trophy? You, you didn't, didn't get a win, participation trophy? But I should trophy? have had a trophy. You didn't no, get a participation why not? I came out of 228. I came to the 220th. So <laughs> where's my fucking trophy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I should awesome. have had a trophy. You should have a participation. It's a trophy for the world yeah, tournament. Like said, world, tourna world yeah. tournament on competitor. There. World tournament competitor. <laughs> world tournament com finished top top two two eight. <laughs> <laughs> I exactly. finished in the top two hundred fighters, so I should have a medal. Exactly. Wow. And that's the attitude, isn't it? That is the attitude of things. It is the attitude. And I can't, of I can't abide by that. And I can't. When I train, I train hard, and I've got a high standard of my training. Okay, all right. I got a belly on me at the moment because I like to drink cider, and I'm a forty-year-old man. That my I got a thyroid problem. It's <laughs> thyroid, right? Thyroid. But it doesn't mean I stop training. He has a drinking problem. I, could, I can't get enough. I can, <laughs> I can still do everything I did when I was in my twenties. Yeah. So uh, and I refuse to lower my standards. For those who refuse to raise theirs. I think, I think, I'm going to say we, because I, I do agree with you. I, I think we're a dying breed. Hmm. Yeah, no, you think you're right. It is. The, the, and, and, and the old Xi'ans that are still about, you know, like, and we've got the likes of Xi'an Cameron and, and, you know, and you've got Judd coming up as well. And, and, and all these guys, they, they, they still got that. Uh, you know, and they're I still agree. pushing it and doing it. Yeah, and it is because now you've got people. Do you know? I even know. I know Kyokushin dojos, right? Mm -hmm. That they don't do knockdown. They don't do sparring. They don't do fighting. It, it, a guy who had the dojo was a, a religious guy or something, and they and they were like, no, we would only fight this against our religion. I'm like, yeah, but you're doing you're doing karate what? for a start. And, they still and he's like, yeah, we can do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, they were graded. He was a knee down. <laughs> and I'm like, how? <laughs> how? But you know, exceptions were made because it, in their religion, it wasn't allowed to fight. Why the fuck are you doing karate? It's nothing but fighting. 
that's what it the whole premises that's what it is on or at least just do your own thing and just don't call it kyokushin don't call it whatever. yeah don't call it kyokushin then call yeah. it whatever but yeah. but people do and exceptions are made and it's like yeah. sorry but no you wear a kyokushin gi and you wear your black belt and you stand in the line where i stand i know if i can stand it in the line with you well, I mean, that's the reason I was drawn to Kyokushin. So why, you know what I mean? I, I, so I felt, I felt Ill, um, illegitimate. What's the word? Uh, I just didn't feel, I didn't feel legit because I had uh, black belts in other systems, but I had never been hit full uh, contact and never hit someone. So it's, it's, that's another weird thing too. Cause people, I know we're rambling on, but that's good because we only did one episode this week. Um, so my big thing was, um, it wasn't about uh, not just getting hit and absorbing it, but actually hitting someone. That there's a whole psychology around that. There's a whole a big weird yeah. thing. I had never struck someone with full contact coming out of all these martial arts for years. It was so bizarre to me. It was so bizarre. But, but a lot of them are delusional. They live in a bubble. You're well, told that's no, what it Scott, is, though, you can't Terry. strike someone. If you hit them, you'd fucking kill them. That's You're not allowed to strike people. Oh my god! So I came from years and then when you actually do years of systems of, of doing that. Yeah, and then when you go up against someone, right, and you strike them with your triple-headed dragon death punch, <laughs> and they look at you and go, "All right, <laughs> have we started yet?" <laughs> That's kind of what now? happened to me, though. Is that it? <laughs> I will. I still remember. <laughs> I still remember when I went to Kyokushin because I went later on. I was in my I was in my forties at that point, and I uh, so I remember pulling up this Sensei Steve's Dojo uh, contact kicks, and it was a Friday night. And I, at that time, I didn't know, but Friday nights were historically uh, Kumite nights, right? They're you fighting nights, it's fight night. Um, and he has this thing in his dojo where if somebody new comes in, especially like white belt up, I forget what it is, white belt, whatever, they, he won't let them spar at the beginning because he doesn't, you know, he's got to be, got to gauge them, whatever, see where they are. Yeah, you've got to break into it. Yeah, exactly. But he knew I <laughs> had this ba background, so he knew I had a black belt and whatever and that, but I, I came in as a white belt. But he was like, spar. <laughs> so that night... <laughs> I was, I, I, I can't even describe it. I was exhausted. I couldn't breathe. I was battered and I didn't know how to hit anyone. It was the most, I felt like, I felt ridiculous after years and years and years, like since I was in my teens of training in these systems, useless. And I know, I know we were harping on like uh, knockdown sport karate. But whatever, I was useless. Yeah, it's, it's still, and like I've said before, the the training for knockdown, right, mm. is what makes you strong. Yeah. But then you just tweak the training. Still do that training. You know, you can do a thousand punches on the back, but just instead of punching the chest, punch the face. Yeah. Yeah. The training is good. Anyway, so it makes me sad. I guess my point of that is it makes me sad when I hear something like that you're telling me where, you know, they're... They're taking away the elements of Kyokushin that actually m drew me to it because I wanted to yeah. build up that port part. Well, like, I I'm think I'm I... proud of that. I'm proud that I can take a strike now. I'm proud that I can take a leg kick and I know how to do it. And, yeah. and so much of it is this. Uh, it's it's. I think I think there's a resurgence though. I, I think more and mm. more you know more and more people are now as this as there's more and more splits. And you've got people, you know, uh, you know, like the work of Shane Cameron's doing. Because Shane Cameron is a brown belt in BJJ as well. Amazing what he's doing. So I've been, yeah, I love so he's working stuff. it, the grabbing and the clinching and stuff. But it was like, I in Britain, I've been preaching this for the last decade in Britain, because again, from my it was done really. I knew what a clinch was. I know when I've got someone in, I'm fucking headbutting them. Well, you what, what a, a clinch is. You came from a very different perspective. You have a background. Again, it came from a real perspective. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's all. Yeah, go. but yeah. but uh, they kind of went, you know. So my karate, the the stuff that didn't work quickly got washed away. 
Right. And then it was like, all right, this is the stuff that works. And then the more, and then I was looking at the real Kyokushin, reading source books, going back to the old stuff. You look in these books, these pictures. Oh, I know, I have them. Doing somersaults, pictures of grabbing, who's the, the grips. It's yeah. all there. Yeah. So how come people are not doing it today? How come this, I know people who are third dan, fourth dan, tournament champions, right? Won numerous tournaments. Don't, don't know how to do a single fucking throw. But it's, again, though, you, we have to be careful because there's no fault to them because they were brought no. up in the system, taught yes. that way. Yes. Uh, I mean, it's another thing now if that person wants to go out and venture out on their own and be, hey, look, I feel like there's some parts missing that I want to now fill in. I think that's really, really cool. Yeah. But you know, it's it's because there's no it's glory not by choice, it. I guess is what I'm saying. No, they don't know. They don't know any different. Right. But it, it's it's being put out there now. I've been yeah. putting it out there for now years. It's, out there. it's yeah. coming out there now and it's saying this is a vital part that you're missing of your karate training. Some mm -hmm. people are blinked and they know they don't want it mm -hmm. because there's no, you know, there's no glory in you being stood in the dojo, never entered a tournament. But have never lost a street fight. You were mm -hmm. the man that someone wants with you in a bar. If shit goes down, you were the last man standing in every situation, right? But no one knows that. See, that's, no I, one knows that at that, all. That's a funny thing too that you say that. That triggers something. Oh my god, we are going on. We got to wrap this. Well, up. How long have we been but, going? With our like with an our hour, cats. dude. Over an hour. Is um, it? Yeah, but. So that's an interesting thing too. This is something I I never talk about in my stuff, but I grew up in an area that uh, street fights and shit happen or go bar fights. It just did, and and I, I have a little bit of experience in it. I do, uh, but it's never discussed in in uh, Kyokushin or in the stuff that I do. It's it's interesting. You're you're measured on your merits as a knockdown fighter. Exactly. And I can and tell I you, bet, I can right? tell you now that I've sampled both, they're two different worlds. <laughs> they're and very, I bet if you went, and I bet if you I went out to the bar, in a bar. <laughs> I bet if you, I bet if you went out with your black belt friends, right, yeah. were were just won a knockdown competition, you take them into a bar, and I bet you they'll get it, they'll get the fucking ass handed to them. Yeah, because it's a completely it's, different world. My good dog is destroying my green screen. Completely yeah. different world. I'm not going to stand in and bow at you. I'll be like, whoa, I don't want to fight. Look at the muscles on you. Let me buy you a drink. Smash straight <laughs> in your face. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's true. But it's true. Yeah. And again, I, I don't I don't talk about it because it's I'm yeah, because you, 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 you've just you've just got your black belt. You're Scott. You're Scott, the buttons man. That's just got his show down. Right. Yeah. So no one knows that you haven't won any tournaments, but yet Jim, who's just won a, who's a brown belt and just won a tournament, he's the guy. He's the guy to be respected. But yet, you could walk up to him and smack. Uh, you could offer him out properly outside. So this is a real fucking fight. No I feel, rules. I feel pretty confident in that area. I got to be honest. Which and, is and weird. It gives you, which is yeah, weird. Yeah, and, and it's good though. But it gives. Doesn't that give you a good? See. You, you, you have to learn to use both. So when you stand out on the street and you're against another person that's untrained, you'll be like, listen, I'm a fucking show, Dan. You, see, you should see the power I generate when I hit people. You haven't got a fucking chance, right? Mm -hmm. And then when you're stood in front of a knockdown fighter that is bigger, stronger than you, and you think, listen, you don't realize how fucking nasty I am. You come in close to me and I'll bite your nose off. I don't care how hard you can punch. So you work both fields, you know, when you're with the street fighter, I'm a Kyokushin knockdown fighter. And when you're with the top knockdown fighter, listen, yeah, I'm a crazy psycho street fighter. They're very, so you very live in both ways. fields. They're, they're very different. I, I've, I've, I've had that too, where I've sparred with folks that have um, handed my ass on a platter because they're very good with their technique and sport. Mm -hmm. And in the back of my head. In that like, bubble. Yeah. But in the back of my head, I'm going, if this was a different arena, it'd be different. It'd just be different. I won't, I won't say anything more. I'll just, because I'm. No, but it's there. good that you've said this because, you know, it, it's, it's important. People don't know this. People won't know it. You stand there on the line, you do your bow in. Maybe you, you can't quite get your legs up and do this. And they're like, ah, oh, he's all right. But then one day someone might see you out in the bar, drop in four yeah. or five people, throwing stools across the room and be like, exactly. Scott's a fucking psycho. Exactly. Exactly. 
I think we should wrap it up there before we incriminate ourselves any further. I, know, I was just thinking that too. I'm like, maybe I've gone down this hole too far. This was fun. To, I like this now, but I like this. So we're not watching the time. We went off on, I don't even know what to call this episode, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've Well, I think that's, that's what we're trying to aim for now, isn't it? Rather than just have a 20 minute sp- you know, specific subject, we're yeah. doing like a, a, like a Joe Rogan type thing where once a week now, We'll talk for an hour, well, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> do, whatever's whatever's going on in the world, whatever's happening. Yeah, until YouTube bans us. <laughs> until we get no, we're doing good. The subscribers are going up again. People don't forget to subscribe on it. Please comment because subscribe, it, 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 share. And it's not the, the subscribing is not about we need it for our egos. You just uh, when you get to a, so many thousand subscribers, it opens the platform out, and you have different tools that you can use, and that's yeah. what we want to get to. Yeah, there's different stuff. So on my Marshall Way channel, there's stuff. So there's stuff I can do on my Marshall Way channel that we can't do on here, just because I have more subscribers there. Uh, yeah. So that's all. So I just we just want to get out to more people, and yeah, to Terry's point, yeah. it's not about ego. It's not about anything like that. It's just about uh, having fun, <laughs> I'm getting the conversation out there. All right. No. It is. Oh, we have, you should be drunk and take, take a bike in more often. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Jesus. We like this looser Scott. Yeah. A bit looser in the lip. He's not afraid to say things. We like this Scott. <laughs> let, let me know in the comments. All right. Do your yeah. thing. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay dangerous. Cut. <laughs>